It's the moment of truth, or rather, the moment of untruth. It's time for the first ever fake live nominations. Results of this week's fake nomination results. Take a look. Great card. Great card. That's quite well thought. A lot of thoughts going on. The housemates nominated for eviction this week are <coughs> in no particular order. Two people. Okay. Nikki. <laughs> Surprise! <sighs> Charlie. No, I don't. Know. I will. And <laughs> Charlie. Oh. Me and her. Same so. That's gonna be a hard one. She might say and in a minute. She won't. It'll be two. That's what she'd make in no particular order. I think they're doing it like that all the time now. Oh, twos. Why two's low? And? Oh, they can't. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> and, and. That's it. Sometimes there's four or five people. They just don't say no, and. I mean, three people. No, I mean, they always do it in no particular order now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's it, two names. Oh, Go. Bring it on. Let's not be so glum well. about it. Don't well, that don't make sense. Hang on a minute. Obviously, it's me and you, because they said no particular order, so you yeah. knew that. Was wow. So, Charlie and Nikki face a public vote this week, though. There will be a fake eviction. On Friday, the housemate with the most votes will be evicted, interviewed, then goes straight back into the house. Uh, these numbers you need to call. If you fake evict Charlie, call 09911 21 22 04. If you fake evict Nikki, call 09911 21 22 08. Uh, at least 10 feet of each call goes to charity. Details which can be found at uh, uh, channel4.com forward slash big brother. Both the lines are open, starting from. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now, hello everyone! <laughs> Glad you could join us! <laughs> With us today, be still my beating heart. Breakfast TV goddess, Lorraine Kelly's here! <laughs> oh, oh, it's even more beautiful in the flesh, let me tell you that. Ziggy's F and F and D are here! <laughs> That's friends, family and Molly the dog, in case there's any confusion. But first things first, everyone, today is a very special day. This time, 20 years ago, Brian was born! <laughs> now then, all we have to say is, happy birthday, Brian! Birthday, Brian! Thank you! <laughs> happy birthday! Thank you for <laughs> What am I saying happy birthday to you for? <laughs> well, I don't know! Uh, I'm sure you at home are bursting with opinions as well about today's show. As always, we want to hear them. Here's how to get in touch. Nail it, Leon. Oh, 0871 200 1040. Text studio and your comment to 83188 or email us via the Channel 4 website, channel4.com forward slash BBLP. So, we have just found out Nikki and Charlie are up for fake eviction on Friday, which means today's little brother's big shout can only be. What do you think of this week's fake nomination results? Get your emails and texts coming in now. But before all of that tomfoolery, I believe it might be time for little brother's big news. <laughs> It's not exciting, it's not exciting, <laughs> stripey boy. So, at 1.15pm, Big Brother gave Pauline her next task to lead the housemates in a chanting and meditation session to get them in touch with their animal, animal spirit. Struth, take a look at this. The more vocal you are, the more chance there is of the spirits Contact hearing you. Mm. Keep moving. Keep shaking your arms, keep shaking your legs. Step back a bit, everyone, a bit. Right, now keep doing big circles with your arms. Your spirit guides are kangaroos. 
there's a koala and it's hugging you. It's a German Shepherd. Good. You feel better? Yeah. You feel really relaxed. Just but you feel some... like you emptied quite a lot of negative. Well, it's supposed to like energize you and make yeah. you feel more positive. OK, the next news story is probably my favourite of uh, the whole series. At 2.13, Brian received a special birthday present from Big Brother. Just take a look at this. Brian, yeah. Big Brother has a birthday present for you. <gasps> the gift of knowledge. Pauline is not from Australia. Shut up! She's, in fact, an actress no. from Swindon. No! Employed by Big Brother to work undercover uh -uh. in the Big Brother house. No! You've ruined it for me! You've just ruined it! Oh, you've ruined it! I really wanted to believe that she was from Big Brother Australia and everything. I've, and everyone's going, no, she's from Acne. And I'm going, no, she really is from Big Brother Australia. She's, oh, I hope she wasn't mugging me off. I thought she fancied me and everything, brother. If you manage to keep the fact that Pauline is a fake a secret, you will win a birthday party for you and your real housemates. <coughs> Do you understand, Brian? I am Mouth Basildon. I can't keep stuff secret. Not alone bloody keep stuff secret in a big brother house. Big one with 24 7. <laughs> the Mouth of Basildon. Wasn't that as good as I said it was? <laughs> OK, we can reveal that so far Brian has managed to hold his Mouth of Basildon. And finally, at 4.46 today, Charlie proved old Billy right when she revealed she does have a pre nominations plan. Take a look. Told you, I'm nice to them the day before nominations. Yeah, I can admit that. Damn right, I'm best friend, mate. I can admit that. That's what makes me funny about me. I'm like, hello, buddy, how you doing? Jerry, tell me all your boring stories. Yeah, it worked really well this week, Charlie. Uh, that was Little Butters Big News. <laughs> now, joining me now is a woman I've woken up with on a regular basis, and I'm not on my own. Before you get carried away, there's nothing mucky involved. It's the first lady of morning television, Lorraine Kelly's with us! <laughs> Hello, George. Hello, Lorraine. How are you? I'm really well. Oh, it's really good to see you. <laughs> That's great news, Lorraine. Oh, let's shake hands. OK. Oh, it's fake week, everyone! Look, it's fake week! See what you did there? Rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. Oh, it wasn't You've bad. never done it. I'm sorry, Lorraine. No. How are you? I'm really well. Really well. Oh, thank you. That's oh, my Oh, my day. God, that's amazing. <laughs> now, this week's fake nominations. Oh, it's genius. What do you think, and are you surprised? Um, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. In either of them? Uh, no, I'm absolutely not surprised. I definitely thought Nikki would be there. Mm -hmm. And I think it actually would be better to bring Nikki back and then put her out and then okay. put her back in again. This is probably really the do. question we're going to be asking everyone a week. Yeah. Why do you think that? Well, because the thing about Charlie is, admittedly, she is vile, but the thing about it is she is kind of upfront. You know, she, she tells everybody yeah. she's, she's pretty horrible. Whereas I think Nikki is more kind of sneaky. And I think it would be absolutely brilliant for Nikki to sit there. Can you imagine a wee face mm -hmm. when everybody's telling her, you know, why they, why they nominated her and she finds out who doesn't like her. And then she'll be really horrible about everybody. And point. then she goes back in, which will be fantastic. And um, Charlie, I would not like to be fake evicted. I want her to be real evicted. Because the thing is, Charlie's just going to be hit the same whether she comes out or absolutely, she doesn't come absolutely. out. Absolutely, absolutely. Whereas Nikki, it'll be a real change. And it'll well, be and it's genius. Especially it's what she'll say about Liam, how interesting. I OK, know, fake week's well and truly underway. Pauline's yeah. work in the house. We all know that's going to be revealed mm, to the housemates mm. later. We know Brian's in on it. Let's see Brian. what the others are thinking. Police has surpassed all my expectations. I'm so happy we've got that great girl in the house. Um, I think we're going to get very close friends. I do often feel as though there's uh, there's more to things than meet the eye. <laughs> I did get a very strong feeling when I saw Pauline on the screen, actually, on Friday night, that I had seen her somewhere before. And um, <clears throat> I'm not sure that all is as it seems. Three quarters of the housemates love her, but then you've got a few people who don't mind her. But still like, yeah, I think she might be an actress and everything. Ma, oh, they are exaggerators. Yeah, I'm not too sure if she's who she says she is. I mean, a few of the housemates are asking questions, in yeah. particular Carol and Tracy. Are you surprised so many of them are falling for it? Not really, because they're so isolated in the wee bubble, and I think they're so... Some of them are incredibly naive mm -hmm. and also really quite stupid. But Carol so... and Tracy are kind of on to her. Yeah, they are. I don't know are. what constitutes her not being able to make it because they haven't said anything yet. No, but they've been together in a little huddle. It's as if they either they don't want to appear daft because if they've got it wrong or they've got knowledge that they don't want to share with everybody sure. else. It know? is quite... The thing is, like, Laura came on yesterday and she said it is almost like 
you, you don't have the bottle enough to say it. Yeah, yeah, just in case you get it wrong and then you, uh, yeah. you feel really stupid. <laughs> you look really stupid. Absolutely. And absolutely. rude. Um, <laughs> what, about, what about Brian? Do you oh, think Brian can do this? little Ryan. No, of course not. <laughs> absolutely no chance. I'm amazed that, it's, you know, that he's lasted this long. I thought in the first minute he would be out there. He's adorable, though. He's as daft as a brush, but he's mm. absolutely adorable. Do you like him? Well, when he wet the bed, I sort of went off him a bit. You know, I thought, come on now. Oh, you that's, know. When, that's when he captured the, the heart of the <laughs> nation, no, surely. No, 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 no. And, I mean, he is now 20 teens. So he yeah. should know better. Okay. He should know better. But no, I think he's uh, I think he's very sweet and very naive. And actually, when all the girls are bitching, the look on his face, he's like, I don't understand. Why no. are you girls being so horrible and That's nasty? how all us men feel. I know, I know true. it's true. Um, <laughs> now listen, on the show, you always talk about relationships, which is yes, great. Yes, yes. So Ziggy and Chanel, what are your thoughts? I do think it's really true. I haven't really bought it from the very beginning, and I'm getting a wee bit fed up with it now. Are they on or off? What's happening? Are they We're on or off? We're going to adjust that off? later on right, in the show. Right, right. Because because I just I, I think he's too old. For her, and I think really, actually, I'm quite worried about her. Really, I'm getting, quite, yeah, I'm getting quite concerned because she looks as if she's on the, the verge of just collapsing and uh, completely cracking up, and, mm. it's, and it's a real shame. And I think, what advice would you give her? What advice would you give both of them? I think I would say to them, stop it now, and yeah. I don't think there's any future in it whatsoever, and get back, stop being a couple because as a couple, you're actually not very good, but maybe as individuals, you might be, you might be better. I think. Oh. I'm sorry, but no, I, I know it's heartbreaking, it's... but to hear it from you, it works. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, in a tribute to the week where nothing is as it seems, yes. we thought we'd like, I'd like to play a little, little game with you. Okay, is that all right? Sure, sure, okay. sure. We recorded these statements before the housemates went into the house. Right. One of them's telling the truth, two are lying. You have to spot who's telling the truth, all Ooh, right? Oh, okay. Um, and my dad has got a champion racing pigeon, which he um, named after me. <sighs> what, what a great honour. Once upon a time, I lived in a halls of residence and I had to share my kitchen with this really obnoxious guy who was drinking my milk. So what did I do? I put laxatives in the milk and he spent the rest of the day in the toilet. We've once had it. Bob Harkos fear. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the three, she just wouldn't know. No, um, you wouldn't know. Chanel this. had a dad. Yes. Her dad named the champion pigeon after her. True or false? Uh, false. Audience? Oh. Okay, Jerry, when I was sharing halls with my residents and Jerry. my housemates uh, kept drinking my milk, so I put laxatives in it. True or false? No, I don't think that's true. No. no I don't Audience? Do oh, you? No, Jerry wouldn't do that. Jerry's lovely. And the twins once had a bob haircut, defo fear. Defo fear, I think that's true. You think that's true? Yeah, I do. Audience? I can tell you, when Jerry was sharing halls no. of residence, he put laxatives in the not. milk. Jerry did Oh, Jerry! How not? That be face. That Finally, face. who do you want to win? Jerry. You want, I want Jerry, Jerry to win? win? I really do. Jerry's the only one that I would go out for a drink with in okay. that whole house. I think he's absolutely adorable, and I like the way that he stood up to Charlie, okay, defending Trump. That was good. Jerry to Chanel. win, you say? Thank you Definitely. very much. Uh, for now, thank you very much, Lorraine, everyone. <laughs> I'll see Lorraine later on for a uh, big shout. Coming up, we meet the most important female in Ziggy's life: his dog Molly. Molly. Oh. Molly. 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 Boo. Molly. Boo. Molly Moo. <laughs> oh, she's coming over. And we talk to his siblings about his on, off, on, off, on again, off again, off again, on again, on again. Where are we up to relationship with Chanel? In the words of Ziggy, I think we should take a break. <laughs> Welcome back to day 42. It's 7.49 exactly. Now, a wet nose, bright eyes, a glossy coat and healthy teeth. All traits Ziggy looks for in his ideal woman. Here to talk about the loves of his life, a sister Zoe, brother Dan and the ideal woman, Molly the dog. <laughs> Hello. How are we all, all right? Very, very well, good. Very good. Nice to see you guys. Good to see you again. You. Zoe, you said before when you came on, you're from a very close family. Yes. How... How are you coping without him? How are we coping? We miss him horribly. Mm -hmm. um, very pleased that everybody else can enjoy him for a bit because he's fantastic. Um, we are enjoying the fact we can turn it on when we're having breakfast, yeah. when we come home from work, and we can see him all the time. OK. Are we seeing the Ziggy we know and love? I mean, when you came on last, you said, yeah, definitely, this guy's going to be great, blah, blah, blah. And it's true, but he's obviously had a tough couple of weeks for... Yeah, I mean, the Ziggy that, the Ziggy that came in on opening night, that was the Ziggy I know. Um, you know, a very powerful guy, a guy that's in control. Um, there were a few, a couple of weeks back, it was a bit rocky. Um, I saw things that even I saw in him, which I'd never, see, I had never seen before. Um, well, what's what, what like? Well, I think there was a vulnerability that I, I hadn't seen. Um, there was, uh, you know, when it was, um, 
he was uh, trying to uh, realise his, his balance in the house, and particularly with Chanel, there was a kind of a not a neediness, but there was a certain there was a, a weakness yeah. there which he hadn't shown that I don't see. My sure. mum has seen that. Okay. And she mm -hmm. said, well, she sees that, but um, I, I've never seen it before. Well, the big question, guys, is what is going on with Ziggy and Chanel? Uh, I want to get your take on it. First, take a look at this. You keep on going on about it, though. You keep on going on about it. Nuts, you are. We're all in here for the same reason. We're all finding things quite hard in here. So people deal well, with things differently. Just leave it! Are you happy with just kind of finishing this, this now, if possible? It was my fault, and I apologise. The fourth person to be evicted is Laura. Yes! <laughs> me and Zach have been arguing this week a little bit. There's no reason for me and Zach to fall out when we get along like we do. Are we just there? Oh, I'm just there. Don't tell me it's not like it's me that needs to fall out. I think it's your own progress. What? We got brass. It's not bad. I don't want to be living with Zach any longer. We don't get along anymore. It's not very fun anymore. And he says that I'm just a young girl. And I don't understand anything. But what's the point? Jerry, you know when things are just not working, they're just not yeah, working. I know. But we both we've been bickering and bickering and bickering. And you know, it's it's we we're, we're, this is an experience we get to enjoy once. I've come in here and, I, and I've tried to, and have a relationship with someone You've and it hasn't worked. You've absolutely made this for me. See, this is it. You're, you're a clever girl because you'll just turn it round on to me and I'm the bad person here. I want to go home. You know, you come here on your own and you leave on your own. Um, and I have enjoyed myself with her. But I think, you know, now it's, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's good for both of us to be on our own and experience things on our own as well. But um, all good things, you know, I guess have to come to an end. And, you know, just have to so. Well, that was all a bit intense. To lighten it a little serious. bit, what we've got up here is our... Because we can't make up our minds, uh, the Chiggy on or off. Uh, as of last night, we are officially going to turn it off, and that's going to be like that now for the rest of the series, all right? OK. So, what's gone on, Dan? What's gone wrong? Um, I think that he's just kind of... He's a kind of guy, and I think Chanel's quite similar. They kind of just lay it on the line. Um, and they're very... He's a passionate guy. He wears his heart on his sleeve. Um, he saw... Had a connection with her. It's a very intense atmosphere. Um, and they kind of got together and they relied on each other. But now, I mean, it's an unbelievable situation to be in. I don't think you could possibly imagine what it'd be like to have a relationship. And how do you feel when people come on and sort of and question the sincerity of all of this? I, I, I tell you, he's, he's being genuine. He clearly likes, likes her very much. I mean, yeah. it's six weeks now, which in there is probably six months, six years. Yeah. I mean, um, he definitely likes her. He just, um, he just probably thinks that she's not particularly happy now. Um, he's not... F he's not feeling, you know, he's being himself, he's doing it justice. So mm -hmm. he thinks that now, maybe, for, for her as well, that it's time for them to go their separate ways and really enjoy themselves. Yeah, they say that, and then last night, this happened. Take a look. I'm happy you stayed. Come in for these cuddles and you want, you want these cuddles. That's going to happen a lot. So, uh, so are they a good couple? They are a great couple. Um, there's no doubt they're both hot and they're attracted to each other and mm -hmm. that's why they're together. There's nothing insincere about it. OK, OK. Listen, um, I want to do this. So, um, listen, we want to find out what, what Molly thinks, yeah? OK, so, so we thought we'd do a little scientific <laughs> test, yeah? So, f first, first things first, uh, oh. her love rival. What does she think of a love rival? Molly Moo! Fuck, are you smirking? Molly Moo! <laughs> No? OK. <laughs> what does she think of, of an her main man? Well, I'll mention Molly a couple of times, whatever. It's I love my dog. Hey, look. Oh, Ziggy. Oh. Oh, oh, Ziggy. Just see if this might work. What did she think of this? Richard, you look alike. Come on, Molly. She doesn't recognise him. Oh, she doesn't like him. Oh, sorry, my love. OK. One thing we know is that he's missing Molly very much. Uh, Molly, take a look at this. I miss my dog and I miss her hugely and, and I, I've been away for too long now. And they called it puppy love. 
and that's my dog there. Um, since the first day I've got in this house, I've missed her terribly. And I know I've ranted and raved on about it, but it's just one of those things that she's like, a, she's like my child. I love the most beautiful dog in the world. You find me one more beautiful than this. <laughs> The dog. Oh, so how the dog love my life, man. She's she she is two years old now. Give you two minutes with my dog in here, and that will give me another two months in this place. Fine, I'll mention Molly a couple of times. Whatever, it's I love my dog. That was so surreal. Thank you very much, Dan. Sorry, Molly. Good day. <laughs> Time now for a big shout. Want to know your thoughts on this week's fake number election results? <laughs> Lovely, the rain's still Hi. with us. Not much time, just about a minute. Uh, Tony and Bromley. Hi, Tony. Hello, Dermot. How's what? it going? Yeah, not bad at all. What are your thoughts? Uh, oh, blimey, where do I start? Um, well, Charlie, she's got to go out, hasn't she, so she can come back in, because I think that's going to cause a bit of a stir. OK. And, uh, I think it would be a bit of a dull house without her, so we've got to see her staying for a bit longer. OK, what, um, what's the benefit of her going out and coming back in? Well, she'll see what everyone's been saying about her. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and she doesn't hold back, does she? So it will, uh, it will launch a few fireworks, I reckon. OK, brilliant. Thanks a lot, Tony. June in Kidderminster. June. Hello, Dermot. Hello, my love. What are your thoughts? Oh, you've got to get Nikki out. Why? Mm. Well, Nikki will come back in and she'll put a bit of spark back into her. It really will. Put a okay. bit of spark. She'll mm. come back in and she'll want to lay it on the line thick. Yeah. OK, because, I mean, this is what you were okay. saying earlier yeah, on. definitely. I mean, I take Absolutely. Tony... Definitely take Tony's point, but you do. Mm. You, you think that, that it'd be far better for the house if, 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 if uh, Nikki came back in, right? Definitely. Me too. Okay. Definitely. It's all going to kick off. Wonderful Definitely. stuff. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks for today. Uh, big thanks to our guest, Lorraine Kelly, Ziggy's F and F and D. <laughs> We're back tomorrow at 7 30. Don't forget to catch the latest in the house, Channel 4, 9 o'clock. And big mouth comedian Stan Wright and Steve Marsh, E4 at 10. Take care. God bless. Bye -bye. Yeah.